Model TD Serial Data Logger. This data logger has two input connectors, male and female. It also has a settings hatch to make your settings via dip switches and jumpers rather than using any software. Install the flash drive, also called thumb drive. Model TD creates a single file, always named recorder.txt. Plug in the power, cable, and drive in any order. Send some test data. The data LED will come on. Also, the busy LED will come on. When the data is ended, the busy LED will stay on for a few seconds. Then you can remove the flash drive. Install the flash drive on the PC and look at the log file. There it is. The file is called recorder.txt and it's perfect. 25 lines of test data. Now we'll reinstall the flash drive into the logger and append some data to it. Just plug it in. Send some test data. Wait for the busy LED to go out and read the flash drive again. Open the log file and there it is. Two sets of 25 test lines. Perfect. The following demo will show that the logger safely closes the log file if a power outage occurs. This is important as it means that your valuable data is not lost. The logger helps prevent the Windows error message. The file or directory is corrupted and unreadable. We start off with no files on the USB drive. Okay, it's confirmed. This folder is empty. Remove the drive and install it in the data logger. And remember, you can power up in any order and connect the cable or US drive in any order. Send some continuous test data. The data light is on. Now, create a power outage. Pull the power plug. The power outage occurred in the midst of receiving continuous test data. Normally, this would cause your file to become unreadable because the power was disconnected while the file was still open. Install the flash drive on the PC and confirm that the log file does open. If it doesn't open, you will lose all your data. Bingo! Success! The log file opens without a problem. This is a valuable feature you'll want to have in your logger. When connecting cables, choose either connector on the logger. This will save you from hunting for a gender changer. Use the settings hatch if a null modem function is needed. This saves you from adding a null modem adapter. Easily attach DB25 cables. Use either the male or female DB9 connector on the logger and use the built-in null modem function if required. The settings hatch is also used to choose the interface type such as RS-485, 422, RS-232 and even 3.3V to 5V TTL 
where you can connect directly to a microcontroller pin. Thank you for watching.